little girl act works on men. Want the long version or the short version? Short version. Short version. Who's your daddy? Oh. She hates me, Marshall. But that's okay because. Never mind. No. Uh, what? What, what were you gonna say? I hate your mom. Well, guess what? I hate you! Check out Scarlett Johansson at the Oscars. If I could nail any celebrity, it would definitely be Scarlett Johansson. Hot, talented, and nobody does that many Woody Allen movies without serious daddy issues. If I could nail any celebrity, it would be Lily. She's the star of my heart. Aww. For me, it'd be Hugh Jackman. Mm. Bro, 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 your broach gently to the bar. Hit on sluts, then do ten shots. And... <laughs> but, but what about all the things I just said? But... But sock. But what about Marshall working all the time? But sock. But, but Project Lily. Little fishies on it. Okay. First of all, no ninjas getting a jump on me. I have the reflexes of a jungle. Oh, who breaks up with somebody on their answering machine on their birthday? Yeah, dude. Email. What if I told you I was looking at your red cowboy boots right now? Describe them. They're red in their cowboy boots. That's them. <laughs> I'm sorry I yelled out Ted. I'm sorry I yelled out Abby. I am Abby. Oh, cool. I picked it because it, it, it breathes fire, Marshall. Fire, Marshall. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know that. How could you do this to Ted? Anytime a bachelorette party drives through the city in a limo, sticking their heads out the sunroof shouting, What's up, New York? We will be what is up, New York. My stupid wife got custody of Tugboat. God, I should have kept her hidden in a cage in the basement. Isn't that animal cruelty? I'm talking about my wife. Oh, that's fine then. God, it's me, Barney. What up? I know we don't talk much. Though a lot of girls call out your name because of me. Awesome. I can't see any reason why you and Lucy shouldn't move to New York. Well, my daughter goes to school here. All of her friends are here. I've lived here my whole life. My whole family is here. This is my house. I'm on the PTA. And as of June 1st, I'm the deputy mayor. Yes, but my apartment is really close to the subway. Hey. Today, I yelled at a little girl for painting a rainbow. A rainbow? Sounds like that bitch had it coming. Oh, my God. There's no way out. I'm gonna have to marry her. No, no. We're gonna get you out of this. Okay. How about... It's not you, it's me. Mm. Mm. Six words. You look fat in those jeans. You're free to go. That's right. Barney Stinson is back on the market. Mothers, lock up your daughters. Daughters, lock up your mil swankas. Mil swankas? Oh, wait, I can get this. Mothers, I'd like to sleep with and never call again. Well. Correct! Circle gets the square. Hey, how's my favorite architect other than incredibly handsome? Hey, Mom. No, it's Robin. What do you need? Breastfeeding. Hot. Really? Really. When those things swell up to three times their normal size, so do I. That's so sweet. <laughs> it's gotta get to work. And the kid is not to be disturbed. Repeat after me. I will not have sex with Marshall. I, I will not, not have sex with, with Marshall. Got any other stumpers? Like, how to answer, does this make me look fat? Well, maybe a little around the hips, but no more than usual. <laughs> Yeah, because nothing's as casual like inviting a hundred people over just to mac on one girl. Oh, and Lily, that's my leg. You waited five minutes to tell me that? Yeah, I don't have time for this. I'm out the door as soon as I'm finished with my hair. Good, then we've got a solid half hour. <laughs> I would bet you a gazillion dollars. No, I'm even more confident. I would bet you a floppity jillion dollars that she's not calling a breakup. Start with a hundred push-ups. All right, cool. How many do you want me to do? A hundred. Oh, I thought that was a figure of speech, a hundred push-ups. Like... Do a bazillion push-ups. No one can do a hundred. Do you smell that? No. It smells like there's a little bitch in my gym. My mom's insisting that I get Robin to give James his ring back, but Robin's refusing. But James seems like he's really upset. But Robin's gonna be my wife. But James is my brother. But Robin lets me do sex to her. But I have to spend eternity in my mom's mausoleum. I just wish there was a way I didn't have to take sides. What should I do? Stupid little private joke again. Are you guys really still doing this seven years later? It's so annoying. Just stop it. Private, private joke, joke again. again. Are, you Are you guys really still, still doing, doing this seven, seven years later? It's so annoying. annoying. Just, just stop it. it. What are you doing? You're supposed to pour milk first. What? No, you pour the cereal first so you know how much milk you need. It tastes better milk first. It all tastes the same once it's in the bowl. Why are you wearing my dad's pants? Milk first it is. Let's fall in love and get married and have kids and drive them to soccer practice. I'm not going to pour sports on them unless they're interested. <laughs> Wow, that makes me want to join a gym so I can get super strong and punch you really hard in the face. 
Yes, we should all do it. Yeah, let's all punch Barney in the face. Ed found a penny on the subway and it's old and that's interesting. Way to go. Okay, first of all, that is interesting. Let's go. <clears throat> behind my ear. Oh, there is nothing behind it. Oh. oh. <laughs> Robin, did you know that boutonniere is French for booty is near? Mm. True story. <laughs> Une histoire vraie. He needs fresh air. He needs sunshine. Mm. Sunshine. Gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Sunshine. You know, I've always wondered why those tweed jackets have elbow patches. Because the people who wear them are constantly going, ah, oh, geez, why can't I get laid? I'm pregnant. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you really? Lily. I mean, I noticed that you gained some weight lately, but I didn't think... <gasps> I was lying, you jerk. Oh, go ahead and jump. I hope you die. You know why everyone has that guy or girl who, no matter what happens, you always remember them being the perfect one for you? Mike Shaps. Lily, that girl right over there. If you have a daughter, the day, nay, the minute she turns 18, gong! The same thing happened at the pet store yesterday. Pet store? Single girl, mid-20s, looking for a canine replacement for the boyfriend who just dumped her. Instead, finds Barney. God bless you, Ted. You're reading my blog. I'm really bored at work. One of us just needs to pretend to be Marissa Heller. Oh, guys, I'm flattered, but I think Lily should do it. But here's my point. If they ask GMB's chief architect if the Arcadian should be a landmark, and I say yes... That, no, that wasn't the Arcadian being destroyed. That was GMB's hopes of destroying the Arcadian. I'm sorry, I should have been more clear. Yeah, the Arcadian's gonna be all like... No. Dude, lots of chicks think architects are hot. Think about it. You create something out of nothing. You're like God. There's nobody hotter than God. Mm. Oh Hey, Robin. Hey, sweetie. You having fun at your bachelor party? No. Good, because my night's been hell. Oh, that's what happened to the bouquet. You know, good for Victoria. It's such an evil tradition. You're not going to do it at your wedding? Oh, yeah. I'm going to take that flower grenade and chuck it into the crowd and scream, crawl for it, bitches. <laughs> Nobody's turned on by men's calves. They're a thoroughly unerotic body part. Well, yeah, I'd say that, too, if I had those skinny little chicken legs. <laughs> I'll be waiting by the phone for your apology. A Boy Scout is always prepared. Prepared to spend lunch in his locker? Prepared to die a virgin? <laughs> prepared to paint his sister's nails? Prepared for emergencies. I've known you for 16 years. I'm the obvious choice. Oh, come on. If Ted raises him, the poor kid's still going to be a virgin when he's 13. Have you seen how the kids are dressing these days? With the Ashley and the Lindsay and the Paris? They all dress like strippers. It's go ho or go home. Why always be attracted to the unavailable ones? Why not accept the fact that you're a beautiful woman who is worthy of love? Are you brave enough to hear that? You... Mm. It's from Marissa Heller. Marissa Heller? She sounds hot. Face, boobs, describe. Start with boobs. There's a store on 8th Avenue that specializes in... How to put this delicately? Uh, Battery-powered adult recreational fake penises. You, sir, got Stella thinking. Gosh, Ted seems so cool today. Did I choose the wrong guy? <laughs> Give it a week. You'll get her back. And her front. Oh, oh, oh. oh, did you just feel that? I think we just had a what upquake. Mm, I just need two seconds, baby. I know you think that's a compliment, but I'd rather you take your time. We just started dating. We agreed we don't want to move too fast, and yet somehow we have a baby. <laughs> he can't feed himself. He cries a lot. He keeps us up all night. Have you tried breastfeeding? Nailed it! Plus, those charges are from, like, a month ago. Exactly. For new charges, you have to go to her online account. You can see credit card activity from, like, two hours ago. But, you know, don't. Why do you talk? Why do you talk? Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm having fun here, so I, I, I think I'm going to skip Robots vs. Wrestlers. <gasps> but, Ted, you've never missed Robots vs. Wrestlers. No, 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 Ted, this isn't happening. I'm totally overreacting to this whole Robin thing. What's this envelope? Is this a wedding invitation? Robin's marrying Don. I'm gonna die alone. Ted's gonna get eaten by cats. Get out of the car. Why am I under arrest? No. So you're about to be under me. No, false. Did not happen. Get out of the car. Why? 
Am I under arrest? Yes, you are. I ran your plates. You've had 15 moving violations in the last three days. Uh, Get out of the car. But no, my wife's having a baby. I have a sausage with your name on it. Out of the car! Ah!